If you're using a WordPress website, then you need to make sure that your PHP version is updated or or you need to make sure that your PHP version is not too outdated, okay? And because WordPress mainly runs uh, on PHP language, okay? Um, if your PHP versions get outdated, then you'll start seeing error on the back end of your web website because once your PHP becomes a bit old, uh, then the plugins which you, which uh, which are constantly switching to newer versions are will become incompatible with your current PHP version that your WordPress is running on. Okay, and to upgrade the PHP version, uh, you'll need to do that from your hosting okay you need to do that from your hosting because uh, you cannot able to you are not able to upgrade your uh, php version from the back end of the wordpress website um, you can see this is one of my client's website and it's showing an error uh, that the php version which is running is outdated 7.2.3.1 okay so uh, when you get this kind of error, it's best you, you like update to the latest version. So I'm in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update or change your PHP version to the latest one um, using the cPanel interface. Okay, so I'm going to go to, so this is my client's website and I don't have access to the uh, hosting. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of my website to show you how we can do that. Okay, okay, over here, okay. So over here, I have my website, and this is my name cheat backend. If you have, uh, if you have a hosting, hosting, if you have a hosting like uh, from any other place, that is a uh, GoDaddy, SiteGround, etc. Uh, you should search for the cPanel interface. So I have a hosting list over here, hosting, and I'm going to get. I have this option. Go to cPanel. So Namecheap uses the cPanel interface for the hosting, so for the managing hosting. Okay, so you should also have this or something similar. When I go to the cPanel, uh, I get this option, select PHP version, I'll click over here. Okay, we need to make sure that, for example, before we upgrade to the latest version, we need to firstly make sure that our plugins are updated. For example, this Elementor Pro needs to be updated. I will update it now. Okay, make okay. Then I am going to check the appearance themes. So three, three of the themes needs to be updated. Okay, new version available. Update now. Uh, we should also update the WordPress version. Okay, great. Update to version six point five point three. Okay. Uh, next thing uh we need to do is okay. Let's update the WordPress first. Okay, almost done. Okay, so WordPress is updated. Okay, plugins. I guess we can have more plugins to update. Okay, let's update quickly. Update these ones first before we go for the PHP update. Just need to make sure everything is up to date before we go ahead and update the PHP version. Okay, this one and also this one okay click on update okay uh, okay done okay then we need to do is go to tools and click on site health okay then we can let's check the php version from over here and see if it matches with the server okay then go to info okay no need to install additional plugins to check the php version and then let's go to server okay and when you go to server, we see that it's running PHP uh, 4.7.4.3. Okay, copy this and let's just open a notepad and note this down because in case our site breaks, okay, in case our site breaks, we might need to be able to um, uh, revert back to the previous version. So let's open up a notepad and just paste this version uh, so we can let's go okay so over here let's uh, let me just go back and show it to you again okay so this is the cpanel interface if you have any hosting which is uses the cpanel interface uh, just you can just follow along click on select php versions okay 
this is the current version 7.4 which I'm using and the latest version is 8.3. So I see that there are some changes 7.4 current and there are more options in the 8.3 version. Simply click on apply. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, okay, 8.3 current. Okay. So let's go back and see. Let's click on the dashboard. Okay, fine. Okay, now let's go back to. So the current version is 8.3. Now let's go, let's go back to tools, site health. Let's see if it updated the back end. Let's go to info. Okay, server. You see, it's updated 8.3.6. Okay, so this is how you update the PHP version from the cPanel interface. Okay. So whatever hosting you're using, so I'm using Namecheap, so I'm using Namecheap and if you're using something else, but you have the CPAN in interface, then you can follow along and uh, update your, update or change your PHP version. So if you have any problem, if you face any problem before website breaks, then simply switch back to the previous version, which you were using in the first place, okay? So I hope this video helped you out and if it did, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.